finishing touches, but I promise it'll be ready for the grand opening of the Riverwalk next week. Mary Campbell ought to be very pleased and incorporated every single detail she has. Oh, my heavens, is that one of them? <clears throat> well, I guess we're going to have an opportunity to ask her because she's flying in from Minneapolis today. Or is it, well, sometime? Lou, listen to me. We can postpone the opening. There's no, still time. We don't have to do that. This is a business. Other people are depending upon this with their businesses. We will open on schedule. Things will not be changed just because one woman's child is missing. Lucinda, you are going to get Lily back. It's going to be OK. Well. Now, what is going to be up there? And where are the signs? Where are the lavatories? Oh, right down there, to the right. You... May I? Please. The role of Hal Munson is being played today by John Hilner. Two kids down by the river saw the car roof sticking out of the water. Called 911. Towing company's still hauling it out, but the plates check out. It's definitely Holden's car. Was, was Holden in the... No, no, no. Oh. Maybe something in the car that can explain what happened to him. Some sort of clue. Would you, uh, would you sit down? Okay. I swear. Okay. Everything is going to be okay, all right? It's all right. Just, oh, just, 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 just a second. Just Thank you. Holly, exactly what is the procedure here? I didn't want to say this in front of your mother, but uh, we sent a patrol downstream of where they found Holden's car. Dragging her over for a body. Oh my god, Holden. I must have activated the timer on the bomb somehow. Any idea how long Hot's program No, he, he would just set it and reset it just to torture me. I don't know if we have minutes or seconds. Well, I think that we should probably wake him up. Hans! Hans! Come quickly! Hans! Hans! Oh my god. What? Oh my god, what, what if he's gone? What if he went somewhere and he, maybe he's not gonna come back this time? Hans! Hans! Hurry up! Hans! To you today by Vic Sinex, part of the Vic's family of products. Some people get nasal congestion, but if you get sinus congestion, use a sinus spray like Sinex. Only Sinex has a decongestant plus Vic's vapors, so you can feel your swollen passages open up. For sinus, think Sinex. Now even Perm Tech can be this healthy and shiny. With Pantene Pro-V Shampoo and new treatment conditioner, Pantene's pro-vitamins penetrate to improve. Pantene Pro-V, now with a new line of treatment conditioners for hair so healthy it shines. You'll see. Here comes a whole new taste breakthrough. It's got less fat and better taste for you. It's not a trip the same old bar. That's right. Got new Pringles Right Crisps. If you're looking for the type of oil lowest in saturated fat to cook foods like these, look no further. Chef Bert Wolf. It's all right here. 94% unsaturated Crisco Pure. With just one gram per serving, Crisco is even lower in saturated fat than olive or corn oil. Crisco looks light, and there's no heavy oily taste. Mmm. It's simple. For the type of oil lowest in saturated fat, there is nothing better. Cooks who know, trust Crisco. Boy, I'd have bet a lot of money that today you'd have been out at Lou's pool house working on Neil's stuff. <laughs> Craig thought that I should keep an eye on Lucinda. Yeah, 
She is wound pretty tight, isn't she? Yeah, well, you know, when things get wound too tight, they tend to snap. <clears throat> Mary! Hello. You made it! Hi, Roy. Oh, wonderful nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hmm. Hi. Uh, Meet Samantha Markham, my Mary. sister. Hello. Samantha, nice this is you. Mary Campbell, the, the one and only Aunt Mary <laughs> of Cake and Cookie Fame. And coffee. Yeah. Let us not forget. Oh, coffee. let us not. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet Thank you. you. I've heard so much about you from Kirk. And uh, judging from the fact that you haven't left town, I take it that this new, new family discovery you've all made. It's yeah, so far so good. But we're taking things nice and slow. Yeah, well, we are. Uh, Blue. Royce, the phone system isn't working. You better get the inspector in to take a look at it. I had to use my phone in the car. Mr. Oh, McMahon I'm sorry. Has nothing to tell us about. Darling! Lucinda. So Hello. nice to see you. Well. Uh, I just wanted to tell you how sorry I am. Oh. I am about Lily. I'll be praying for Thank her. you, darling. And I would be more than happy to postpone this no, evening no, if you would... No, I love this. No, oh, this Sam. Life was go on. Oops. <laughs> hey! Mary Campbell. How are you? How are you? Good. Good to what see you. What are you doing here? And it's nice to see you, too. I solved the crisis in New York. Went straight to the office from the airport. Craig said everybody was over here. You know, he's looking awfully comfortable in that chair of yours, but let that go. <laughs> uh, Mary. Yes, uh, Come here, take a look at the message. Oh, I would sure love that. You had it in mind. Sam, I can I use your feedback on this, really. too. Craig also told me in on Lily. There's something so concrete to go on now. So tape, a picture, what? No. Hans was supposed to pick up the money that Damien had, the ransom money, and he did not come to claim it. So we don't know what that means for Lily. Uh, Royce. Yeah? Please, could we look at the big space and see what kind of a grand opening we're going to have out there? Absolutely. Thank you. Follow me. We will be right there. All right. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. You will uh, bring me up to speed on all of this later, won't oh, you? Oh, you bet. You can count on the it. The one thing I did hear from Woody was that Ned Simon had proposed to Emma. I'm sure that that's a comfort to have him at her side right now. Well, actually, Emma's by Ned's side. He's in pretty bad shape. Why? What happened? He had a stroke. He's in the ICU at Memorial. I don't think he went off a bridge. I mean, the car wouldn't have ended up in such shallow water. Still, I want somebody to check that overpass nearby just in case. Although, I'd like to kick Holden's butt for putting himself and Lily in danger, searching on his own that way. Didn't he learn anything from what happened to Courtney Dixon? Oh, come on, let's not jump to conclusions. I mean, I mean, what could he figure out that we couldn't figure out? He had nothing to go on. It's, it's just so hard not, not thinking the worst. We're going to do everything we can to find your son, Mrs. Snyder. You hang in there. Thank you. I'll be in the squad room. Anybody needs me. Okay, thanks. Caleb, I'd, I'd like to call Sam. Mom, he just left the farm the same time we did to pick up Valerie and take him. To the hospital? I, know, I don't I, think he'd I, even I, be there yet. I'd like to try if I may. Can I call here? Okay, use this phone. Down line or what? Yeah, down line get out. I'll get you a line. Okay. I just don't know how you deal with this kind of tragedy every single day. Hun, I don't face it every day. But when I do, it all boils down to the same thing. Helping people who can't help themselves. Can I stick around for a while? Yeah, I think um, Emma could probably use a woman around here. Hey, I ran into Joel. He told me about Holden's car. How's Emma taking this? I think she's taking it. She's upset. I'm gonna go find Murph. Have him check out that bridge. So what are you doing here? I came to drop Hal off and decided to stick around to give Emma some kind of moral support. I do not understand why the FBI can allow the local police to continue on this case when there is an international terrorist well, involved. Well, Barbara, this still is a local case right now. Look, I know where this is coming from, and believe me, Hal has no intention of going out and getting himself killed. Most people don't. I thought I finally had my family safe. I thought I got him out of this place. Would you kindly tell me what the hell Margot is doing down in Washington all this time? Well, um, it's taken... A little longer than she'd anticipated. She's in pretty deep. She can't back out right now. Oh, I see. And you? You? Me? I mean, 
Dawn? Is she taking care of the two boys as well as you? I mean, in her condition? Yeah, and, um, don't say anything like that to Dawn. She needs to be viewed as more than a victim of this disease, okay? She's a woman. She's a, she's a special, caring woman, and she has the needs of everybody else. Tom. Tom, is there any news? Emma, I am very, very sorry. There still is no more news of Lily or Holden. You just woke me up out of a sound sleep. I should just leave you here. Let you screen your little heads off or you blow into little pieces. But I need you. For now. Still. Quite the big man, aren't you? Especially when you got a gun and a bomb. Hold him, don't, please. <laughs> no, please, please, continue. I don't know what this is really all about, but it takes a real low life to use a woman to get back at somebody for something. Oh, he just sounds like John Wayne now. I used to like him. I wonder what his next line would be. Well, if I were tied up to this chair, I would, um, well, probably blow your head up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're damn right I would. You're nothing but a cowardly piece of filth. No, what I am is in control. So where's your white coat? Well, it's taking a rest. Larry and I had the morning off. He'll be here soon. He was checking his messages. Good. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. I feel much better, and I'm ready to take my first ride in a wheelchair. Hey, okay. that sounds like good news. Yeah. Must be a day for good news. Really? Have you had good news? Maybe. How's the patient? Well, why Hello. don't you ask her? Excuse us. We'll see you later. Thanks for coming. See you, Courtney. Oh. Has Andy been by to see you yet? Today? No. No. Why? Oh. I was wondering, you know, you two have been through an awful lot here lately. Might be nice to, uh, oh, go away someplace. Get away from all of us. Get away where? So, uh, Doc Op? What's up, Doc? <laughs> well, you know, it stands for Doctors Cooperative. It's when a bunch of doctors get together and open a practice outside the hospital. In this case, the Riverwalk. Uh, somebody offered it to you? Um, well, they didn't really offer it to me. They just uh, sort of felt me out about it. Uh-huh. So who's been doing the feeling? Uh, Dr. Delgado from St. Joe's. Hmm. Never heard of him. Her. Well, I figure it's still close enough to your anniversary that you might uh, want to take a second honeymoon. How about does the island of uh, Anguilla sound to you? I'd be glad to pick up the tab. Oh, that's very, very sweet of you, but the idea of walking on a beach with this cast right now doesn't really appeal to me. Besides, I have school. How about spring break, then? Come in. Hey, Damien. Good morning. Hello, Damien. Any news? No. Nothing. Please think about what I said, okay? Okay, I'll thank see you, you all later. Hey, it was so sweet of you to send those flowers. I know you have so much on your mind. Hey, it was the least I could do after what he tried to do for Lily. Looking terrific. Yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel much better, a little restless. Courtney, in the few minutes that you were alone with Hans, was there anything that he said that might help tell us where he has Lily now. No. I've been racking my brain, and the only thing I can remember that he mentioned is the boat. Time for Mrs. Dixon's sponge bath. I should go. Okay. You take care. You too, and thank you so much for coming.
I'll call you tomorrow at 4 o'clock on the reservation line at the Falcon Club. Make sure you pick up the phone. Make sure the line is not tapped. I'll know if it is. Did you hear me? Yes. All right. This is your last chance, Grimaldi. Tomorrow, 4 o'clock. If you bring the police into it this time, Lily's dead. What are you doing here? Visiting Courtney. What are you doing here? Well, I was going to call you anyway. If there is anything that you are keeping from the police regarding Lily's whereabouts, I want you to tell me. I can help you. All that matters now is Lily's survival. McKechnie, I've given the police my total cooperation. I can't believe you're trying to use the situation to prove your crazy ideas about me and my families. Where are the victims in all this? Wow. You're certainly in a good mood this morning. Yeah. Well, I was kind of hoping maybe it might be contagious. Oh, honey, you've been so down in the dumps the last several days, and I'm really worried. What's wrong? What isn't? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I know I should be positive and optimistic about my future. I just... Well, I, I, I just can't help thinking about the other day when that guy came in here. Do you remember Malcolm? Oh, yeah, that cute boy, the one who had a crush on you in school. Well, and what about him? It wasn't so much him. It was just, I don't know, seeing him reminded me of this, this time in my life when I had all these hopes and dreams. And now it's Dawn, you still have hopes and you still have dreams. And believe me, so many dreams come true if you live long enough. Go help that customer. So, <laughs> so what? Oh, so I spend yeah. the night at John's mm -hmm. so that you and Eduardo can be alone. And when I come back this morning to change, I see two plates, two coffee cups in the sink. Mm -hmm. So tell me everything. <laughs> well, maybe not everything. And it was safe, wasn't it? It was really safe, yes. yes. He did not stay the night, my dear. Oh, <laughs> well, what about the dishes? The dishes were because he came back this morning and fixed me the most scrumptious breakfast. <laughs> Jenna, I feel closer to him than I have ever felt in my life. Mm, that's wonderful. Uh, oh, and look who's here, Mr. Close himself. Oh, shh, be quiet. Eduardo. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh. I just had to come by this morning, and, and thank you for last evening. Oh. And the morning. Oh, that's sweet. I was just going to call you and thank you. <laughs> it meant so much to be with you. You are so very supportive. Uh, hello, again. Welcome. It is so weird. I, I, I was just talking about you. Really? How come you're back in town? I didn't expect you so soon. Well, with my schedule, I, I never know. Did your little girl like the bracelet? She did. She loved it. Thank you. Good. I'm glad. So, what can I help you with today? Do you, do you need another present? Actually, uh, no. <laughs> do you remember the last time I came in here? Um, we were talking, and I, and I asked if uh, maybe... Well, do you have this in a size 8? Well, everything we have is out, but, um... Oh. Actually, let me check one more place for you, Thank okay? You. Hold that thought. And so, I, I just, mm, had to stop by and see that radiant smile of yours once more. Oh. <laughs> Will that do? <laughs> Be still my heart. Mm. No. Oh, you stop. Now, you are so bad. Oh, tell me. I'm tell not going to tell you anything. So, that was Malcolm who was here, and did he ask you out? Hmm? I guess he didn't come to see me. 
Oh, well, then, how come he, uh, he didn't browse around, he didn't buy anything, huh? <laughs> oh, hi. I wonder hi. where you've gone. <laughs> I tend to stray away from the crowds a bit these days. Lucinda? Yeah. Samantha, can I call you Sam? Sure. Thank you. I don't know if anybody told you this. I don't know why they would, but uh, last year I had a chance to get to know my son for the very first time. I'd, um, I'd give him, him up when he was just a baby. So I, I really understand the need to push for acceptance because you, you want that person's love, that, that connection so desperately. So try to be patient with Lucinda. She's in a very difficult situation, too. I know, I know. I realize that. And I am trying. You know, I just wish that she would be a little more patient in return. You know, not expect miracles overnight. Mm -hmm. So it's... So... So, what do you think of this place? I think it's terrific. You I know? love it. Yeah. You know, being behind the counter reminds me of some, some fun things, too. I used to work in a health food restaurant when I was putting myself through art school. Did my fair share of bartending as well for a catering company, you know. Stuff so like that. what do you do now for a living? Well, right now I am framing some paintings for Lucinda, but that's strictly a one-shot deal. After that, I'll be unemployed. Well, I'll tell you what. I think we've got a winner here. No question about it. So I'm going to put together a feature for the City Times. It's really very impressive. It's good, and I... I took a peek in the gallery, and Neil's paintings are going to look real nice in there. Well, I hope oh. that you're not planning on that opening for next week, too. No. I think we'll hold off on that for a while. Aren't you coming in? I... Uh, I thought I'd go find Seth. Tell him we're here and fill him in about home. This is really more your territory, Mama. Okay. I'll stay. But I'll stay back here. Will you pray with me, Caleb? I'll pray, Mama, but I'll pray in my own way. Believe me, they are going to be fine. Holden and Lily both. Thanks, Bob. Wait a minute, the Snyder. Caleb took her to the hospital to see her fiance. What's up? The report came in on Holden's car. Windows were all down. And my question would be who drives around in this weather with the windows all down? Somebody wants to make sure a car sinks when it ends up in the river. There you go. I just ran into Damien at the hospital. He was even more disagreeable than usual, although I suppose he has good reason. Doesn't it seem kind of odd that uh, he's suddenly not caring about waiting by the phone? Especially if Hans calls again? The same thought struck me. Wait a minute, are you guys tell... What are you all talking about? Well, there's something about Lily. I guess there's no reason to keep this from either of you. Uh, Yesterday, around noon, Holden took his car and went out to search for Lily. He hasn't been seen since. We did, however, find his car about an hour ago, abandoned, and in the river. We have no proof, but we think that Hans is probably responsible. Damn Holden. If he's done something to put Lily more dangerous, so we're gonna kill him. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. And now, part two of As the World Turns. Damien, wait, 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 wait. Hey, uh, calm down, okay? Look, we don't know what happened yet. And I gotta tell you, I find it very unlikely that Holden has got some sort of lead on Hans. Look, he's got a lot less resources and info than we do. What is going on here? Hmm? 
looks like Holden took it upon himself to step in where it wasn't wanted again. I have to make some calls. Now, back to our original subject. Are you telling me that you believe that Damien's not hanging around by the phone because he knows when Hans is going to call? Could be. And we had a wire on Damien. We didn't have a wire on Hans. We only have Damien's word on what Hans told him. Damien, listen to me. It is still in Hans's best interest to keep Lily alive. Although I must admit, when it comes to Holden, there is a certain irony. What are you saying? Inadvertently, Hans may have removed the only obstacle to your marriage. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> I was just in some warm, safe place where I didn't think I would ever be ever again. My, my, my. Why do you ask? Oh, by the way, uh, how is Dawn? Very quiet. Yeah. Any idea what's wrong with her? Well, in a way, I... Guys, you know, I know I need some new things, but uh, even your sale prices here are pretty pricey. If you want to clear out your inventory before you get to Riverwalk, I'd suggest that you lower them a little bit more. Oh, well, thank you for your advice, Shannon. But, you know, while you were gone all that time, the prices went up. Things do change. Well, some things haven't changed. I, uh, speaking about Riverwalk, I have a great idea. Why don't you help us with uh, some of your little decorating ideas. Lisa, I think Lisa, that would be Lisa. so Lisa. Right, though, You know, everything over there is done. It's all finished. Everything except the dressing rooms and the stock. I know, I know. The big jobs are done. But Shannon has such a keen eye for little details. And she might come up with a good little idea of something here, something there. Oh, Lisa, I would love to help you. <laughs> so I'm not going to be needing this. You can take this one back for me. Oh, I want to ask yeah. you, who's that dark, moody guy? back there. Oh, that's Gregory. He's the liaison for the Visconti Leathers. Mm -hmm. He usually works at Barbara's factory, but now he's helping out here because Hal is away, you know, taking over for Margot while mm -hmm. she's away from the police force and why do you actually? Well, he gave me the weirdest look when I was back there before. Yeah. Oh, I bet I know why. Um, I think he was one of the first people to uh, see you, you know, when you collapsed at the uh, masquerade ball. He was one of the first ones to get to you. Flowers for Miss Lisa Mitchell? Oh, yes. I'm Miss Lisa Mitchell. <laughs> oh, are they beautiful? <laughs> oh, Shannon, come on. Come. Oh. I'll read it out loud. I'm not going to read it out loud because I you don't oh, know who it's no. from. I do too know who it's from. It's from E.G. Uh, uh, lady, really? I don't come with the flowers. Oh, no. Kitty. <laughs> come over here. Put them right here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. wait just a minute. Hold, hold. Wait, wait just a second. I've got something here. Oh, I'm just. Oops, I'm such. <laughs> oh, here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very yes. much. Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'll take care of that, John. Really, I'll, I'll take care of it. Listen, I, um, I might need you one night this week to help out before the move. Is that a problem? I mean, with Tom and the boys? No, no, no problem. I'd be happy to. Oh, excuse me, I have someone back here. It's from that warm, wonderful place you were talking about? Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. What? What's wrong with you? Oh, I just... I feel a little torn. I, you know, almost guilty. Because of Dawn. And then, of course, I'm thinking about our poor little Lily. Now I know that Holden is missing. Oh, Barbara, where is it going to end?
Please, give me the courage and the faith to believe that everything is going to be all right. Please, God, don't let any harm come to my son. God, hold Ned safe on whatever journey he's taking. And please, please, dear God, I ask you with all my heart, Bring my dearest Holden and my sweet Lily. Bring them home. Bring them home to me. Wake up. Forgive me. Oh. I was a little heavy handed with the chloroform. Oh, your face bother you. That won't last. You'll soon be numb. And your insults shall remain unspoken. <laughs> well, that's for you. Naughty children shall be kept apart. Consider this. The next time, the punishment will be much more severe. Do it your own way. Well, my dear. Lilies. <laughs> yeah. You're very pensive today. I... Well, today is... Uh, it's very pensive. Yes, it's a very <laughs> pensive day. Maybe you should call someone, see if there's been any news. I don't need Lily. to. I've done it. I don't, anyway, I don't want to hear another no. I hope you feel how happy I am that you're here and that you're living in my house and and I uh, the job is still open here at Worldwide if you want it. I, I Lucinda, I just I can't think that far ahead. Okay. Okay. Well, Mary, if this is the kind of stuff you're going to be serving, we better start worrying about how we're going to add on to that place. <laughs> Thank you, Royce. Now all we need is somebody to run the place. No, nah, don't worry about that. I'll put an ad in the City Times tomorrow. Oh, great. Oh, excuse me. A fellow said to come right in. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Eduardo Grimaldi, please meet Mary Campbell. Delighted. Same. Eduardo Grimaldi, I tried to talk to you last night. I had something to ask you, and you were not there. I was with Damien. Is there any news? Of Lily, no. But apparently Holden went in search of her and did not return. They found his car in the river this morning. Well, I tried to come and see you earlier, but it was pretty crowded in here. Yeah, did you run into Damien by any chance? I did. Duncan, I know how you feel about him, but he and Lily are both victims in this case. Well, Lily certainly is. Listen, I'd give anything to be lying where you are right now. I would have uh, given anything to be hot on Hans's trail. <laughs> well, if, if you had been, I don't think you would have wound up like I did. You know, I've been thinking, and when I get out of here and my leg heals, I'm going to take some self-defense courses so that the next time this happens, I'm going to be prepared. I don't know that Andy would be any too keen on hearing you talk like that any more than Jessica would be me. We have to stop meeting like this, Duncan.
Well, I'm sorry, Courtney. I have been remiss in the visiting department. But proving you're alive can be quite time-consuming. <laughs> Besides, I had to drop by fashions to get something to wear to the hearing this afternoon. What hearing? Oh, with the idiots from immigration. Despite all evidence to the contrary, I still have to prove I'm alive. Oh, they wanted to put me in prison. What? Yes, senpai. And the only reason why I am allowed to roam American soil right now is because my dear husband here took me into his custody. And you know what? After this afternoon, he and I will both be finally free. <laughs> well, I'd better be going. I've got to get back to the Argus. I hope you're up and out very soon. Oh, sorry. It's okay. And, uh, uh, please don't be late for the hearing. I won't. I promise. Bye. You know, I hear we have a friend in common. We do? Who? Mm -hmm. Patricia Kingsley. And that you were responsible for saving her life. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Patricia. Yeah, I guess it's, it's my own safety that I have trouble with. You were a very lucky girl. Yeah, so they tell me. I don't remember much about what happened after that wall collapsed on me. I passed out pretty quickly. But I, I do remember that pain. And the feeling of being trapped, claustrophobia, panic, I couldn't breathe. I still have nightmares about it. You know, I think in a lot of ways, it's really a good thing that I passed out, because otherwise I might have been psychologically traumatized as well as the obvious physical. Shannon, are you okay? Okay, I'm back. Now, all I have to say this afternoon is Shannon is Shannon, correct? Grace. Yeah. yeah. Whose flowers? Th those are mine. Come on now. Mr. Grimaldi, I presume? Yes. And don't you make mock. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I presume you're going to buy something lovely and sweet for your lonely wife is so far away, right? Well, you presume I have more money than that. Uh, oh, uh, Don, would you please stay out here and help me with all these people, please? I'd be happy to. Thank you. Excuse me. Hey, what about this? You look great in this. Are you... Um, I don't think I'll be able to fit into that size again. Sure you will. Come on, listen, I think you ought to get it. Wait a minute. It's on sale. Not by that much. There you go. See, that's what I mean. That's why I like this idea of the Doc Ops. Bring in a little extra income. I'll still be able to work at Memorial part-time. And still have time for your wife and new baby? And the new house? Sure. <clears throat> Would you please talk to me? No. Especially not here. Lisa and Barbara have been asking me questions all morning. Well, so what? Excuse me. Hi. You came back. How come you had to uh, run away so soon? Well, you, you were busy and... Uh... So, who's the guy talking to Dawn? Oh, um, he's an old high school chum. He used to have a crush on her. Look, I'm not very good at this. Uh, I wasn't very good at this in high school either. I, I, um, would you have dinner with me tonight? <laughs> Look, I don't mean to come on like a ton of bricks or anything. I just, you know, I'd certainly understand if you said no. I just thought that, you I know... I didn't. So, what do you say? <laughs> I'd love to have dinner with you. Oh, hi. If 
You're looking for Lucinda. She just stepped out for a minute. Well, actually, I was looking for you, Samantha. Oh? Yes. I am looking for someone to operate my coffee bar. So I was wondering, would you like the job? Well, I'm very flattered, but I don't plan to be staying around very long. Well, it wouldn't have to be permanent, just until we get the place off the ground, you know. I really like your energy, Samantha, and, uh, and I need someone to kind of set the tone, you know, meeting, greeting people, supervising the staff. And you already told me you had some bartending experience, which isn't that far from pulling coffee. <laughs> so what do you say? Would you like to give it a try for a couple of months until I can find somebody permanently? I think I could handle that. Actually, I might even enjoy myself. That sounds great. Great. Wonderful. Great. Thank you. And I will leave it up to you to decide when you want to tell Lucinda. Damien, please do nothing which might jeopardize my safety. Oh, you're still here? Damien, come on, you must have listened to that tape a hundred times. Did you find anything in Holden's car? Something that might tell us where he is. Where Lily is. We haven't heard anything yet. Come on, please. Go back to the yacht. Wait by the phone. You'll do us much more good there. Unless, uh, for some reason, you think that might not be a good idea. What are you saying? Nothing. Go on. Damien, you're smart enough not to take things into your own hands like uh, Holden did, right? I mean, you saw what happened. What's that? Found it in the tape deck of Holden's car. It's a dupe of the tape of Lily's voice. What? How could Holden get his hands on a piece of classified evidence? From me. I gave it to him. Because I'm sick of your voice. I'm not talking about the tape. Why are you doing this to us? To Damien. Mm. Oh, you want to know why? I tell you why. Rigoletto. <laughs> I think you'll have very little time to find out what that means. When the police find Holden's car, will they find a clue that will lead them to Hans? Find out Monday as the world turns. Men's Accessories by Swank Incorporated. Leather Fashions by Sienna. This is Dan Region, inviting you to join us again Monday for As the World Turns.